to 3 or to 3T? That is the question. Let's get started. So a lot of guys are confused whether they should consider going for the OnePlus 3T or the OnePlus 3. So this video will sort of tell you what you should consider if you're planning on buying the phone on the prime sale or on the main sale that happens on 14th of December. Now aesthetically the OnePlus 3 and the OnePlus 3T are not different. They are identical in terms of size and they're also identical in terms of weight. The OnePlus 3T does come with a new gunmetal color and the soft gold color remains the same as the one seen on the OnePlus 3. Hardware wise, you also don't see a lot of difference. The OnePlus 3 has a 5.5 inch 1920 by 1080p optic AMOLED display and so does the OnePlus 3T. The OnePlus 3 however sports a Qualcomm Snapdragon 820 chipset whereas the 3T gets an upgraded 821 chipset. You also get the same 6GB of RAM on both these devices but you do get bigger storage options on the 3T where the OnePlus 3 is only available with a 64GB storage capacity the OnePlus 3T gets a 64GB and 128GB storage capacity. The OnePlus 3T also gets an upgrade on the front camera where the front camera is now a 16 megapixel sensor as opposed to the 8 megapixels seen on the OnePlus 3 and you also get a 3400 milliamp hour battery which is upgraded from the 3000 milliamp hour that was found on the OnePlus 3. The fact is that OnePlus has managed to stuff a lot more inside the shell of the OnePlus 3 making it a slightly more powerful device and calling it the OnePlus 3T. Now coming back to our original question, should you buy the OnePlus 3 or should you buy the OnePlus 3T? If you already have the OnePlus 3, should you upgrade to the OnePlus 3T? And finally, should you buy the Google Pixel or should you buy the OnePlus 3T? So the OnePlus 3 has been discontinued by the manufacturer. So if you're considering the OnePlus 3 or the OnePlus 3T, the immediate bet for you should be the OnePlus 3T. It is the latest smartphone. It's only slightly more expensive than the original OnePlus 3, where the original OnePlus 3 costs 27,999 rupees. The OnePlus 3T costs 29,999 rupees for the same 64 gigabyte storage variant. So for an extra 2000 rupees, you get the newer chipset, which on synthetic benchmarks gives you a better score. So you were getting about 140,000 on Antutu on the OnePlus 3. You're getting about 160,000 on synthetic benchmark Antutu on the OnePlus 3T. A 20,000 score bump on a synthetic benchmark doesn't mean a lot in real life usage, but it does show that the performance of the chipset is slightly more advanced than that of the OnePlus 3. So now there's also a big change in cameras. While the same 16 megapixel sensor exists on the OnePlus 3 and the OnePlus 3T, the OnePlus 3T does get an intelligent pixel technology, which improves the image in post-processing. You also get a new sapphire lens on the camera. That means that it is going to be much more scratch resistant, especially considering the fact that the camera sticks out. And you also get electronic image stabilization, which is almost like that found on the Google Pixel. The front camera also gets a bump from an 8 megapixel to a 16 megapixel camera. So for those who like taking high risk selfies, this will come in handy. They did consistently keep the front facing video to 1080p, which is sort of a letdown since the sensor is so big and the chipset can support 4K video recording as it does on the rear camera. Now improvements on battery life, which means that the 3400 milliamp hour battery that is in the device mixed up with the new Qualcomm Snapdragon 821 chipset means that you get not only more efficiency from the existing battery, but the additional 400 milliamp means that you should get easily a full day's use on the OnePlus 3T without requiring recharges. If you do require recharges, OnePlus 3T still retains the dash charge capability. That means that you still get about 60% of charge in about half an hour of charging using the dash charger and the dash charging cable. So for 2000 rupees, you get a whole lot more with the OnePlus 3T, but the biggest point to consider is the fact that the OnePlus 3 is no longer going to be manufactured. And if you do buy it, since it is still on sale in India, uh, you will get something which is dated for only 2000 rupees less than something that is current. If those 2000 rupees mean a lot to you, then the OnePlus 3 is still a fantastic phone and we've already done a review, which you should find on the screen right now in that bubble. Click on it and you can see what we think about the OnePlus 3 after using it for about a month. Now, if you already have the OnePlus 3 and are considering whether or not you should buy the OnePlus 3T, the answer simply is that you should only go for the OnePlus 3T if you want the Daydream VR capability. 3T will support Google's Daydream VR and that will allow you to use that VR technology on your smartphone. Apart from that, in terms of performance, in terms of battery life, 
the upgrade is there, but it's not significant enough for you to go out, sell your existing phone and buy another phone. Now, if you're considering buying the Google Pixel, or if you're a Nexus user looking for an upgrade this year, the OnePlus 3T is a fantastic option to consider. The Google Pixel is not only more than double in terms of cost, it also gives you less in terms of specifications. With the OnePlus 3T, you get six gigabytes of RAM and 128 gigabytes of storage for about 34,000 rupees. While the Google Pixel with similar specifications will start at 57,000 rupees, the Google Pixel XL starts at 67,000 rupees, making the price extremely high compared to what the OnePlus 3T is available at. The OnePlus 3T does give you better performance from the Google Pixel. It also gives you more RAM. It gives you 128 gigabyte storage capacity as an option. You get dual SIM capabilities and the same image stabilization in the rear camera along with the 16 megapixel front facing camera. Now, as far as the Android upgrades are concerned, the Google Pixel and the Pixel XL will get the latest updates almost immediately after Google announces them. The 3T will have a wait cycle. As you can see, it's already December. It's been about six months since Google announced Android N and we still don't have an update for the OnePlus 3 or the OnePlus 3T. And that will sort of continue with OnePlus going forward. Even though the updates are not on time, the OnePlus 3T runs a near stock Android operating system with Oxygen OS. You get an almost pure Android experience with a little bit of add-ons that OnePlus has added to make the experience slightly better. It's almost as smooth as stock Android and the user experience is absolutely fantastic. So if you don't really care about the updates, you can definitely pick the OnePlus 3T over the Google Pixel. Now our review for the OnePlus 3T will be out shortly. Hopefully this video helps you decide which phone you should get and if you should upgrade or not. So if you like this video guys, don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe to iGAN for more such tech videos. You can also catch us on Facebook, Twitter, Google Plus and visit iGAN.in for all the latest in tech this is Vibhav Nagpal. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you in the next one.